Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Anthony Hendrickson. I appreciate you jumping on this video today. We're gonna to go a little different direction with this one. Um, what I wanna talk about with you about today is how to or what to avoid as far as time wasters. So this is kind of a thing that I struggle with myself and I know quite a few people do. Um, just, you know, what to avoid or how you can actually just be more efficient with your time. So in this short video, I'm calling this one how to avoid time wasters. There's all kinds of little time wasters throughout the day. One of them, our phone, if we're busy scrolling on social media. That's a huge time waster. Another time waster might be your schedule, not having a proper schedule in the order that you want things to get done in. So I always try to keep that as organized as possible. It saves you a lot of time at the end of the day. But what I wanna to touch on now is just three things that I use and three things that I wanna pass on to you that you can do to avoid these time wasters. So it's no secret, we all love social media. I know I'm on pretty much every platform out there and I spend more time than I probably should on social media. So every once in a while I tell people to take a social break. What I mean by a social break is just stay away from social media. Don't go on it, stay away from it, avoid it at all, all costs. Um, this doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. It doesn't have to be something that takes you a week or a month or however long to do. Take as long as a break as you think that you need. But even if you just take a couple hour break or a day break off of social media, you're gonna find that it's gonna clear that headspace. It's gonna make you think a little bit more positive. And then on top of that, it's gonna give you that much more time rather than scrolling nonstop where you can actually be productive and get things done that you wanna do. So like I always tell people, take a break from social media. Number two, the search for external approval. As a society, we waste so much time on social approval and I don't understand why we do. I always tell people, don't wait for your best friend or your spouse to tell you that this is a good idea and wait for their approval. Follow your gut feeling, get out there and do these things that you actually wanna do. Trust me, those people, if they really care about you, they're gonna get on board sooner than later, especially if it's a good idea that you think it is. So I always tell people, follow your gut approval and don't waste any time waiting for others. Number three, the decisions that don't really matter. Stop spending so much of your day planning these little things that you don't need to think about. As far as what you're going to wear, what you're gonna eat, planning all those meetings that you think are so important. Well, go ahead and fast pace these things. Lay out your clothes the night before. Do some type of a meal prep for the week. And go ahead and batch those meetings all in a row so you can get them all over with right in the morning or in the afternoon or whenever you're doing your best work. So I always like to tell people that these little mundane things that you do every single day, like eating and getting dressed, go ahead and shortcut those a little bit faster and that way you have it lined up, planned out, you know what you're gonna do. I just tend to wear the same color quite a bit if you haven't noticed that before. And there's a reason behind that. I like the color and I don't have to spend a lot of time looking at what I'm gonna wear. So keep these things simple. It's gonna fast track your, your life and give you so much more room to grow and improve other places. So there are my three tips on today about how to avoid these time wasters. Just little things that I try to think about every day. You can always add these later on, but like anything, start small, work your way up. You're gonna build on momentum. It's gonna become even more easier the more you do it. So once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching or listening. I hope this content has helped you in some way. Maybe it motivated you, maybe it inspired you, maybe it actually triggered something uh, in your head to make you get out of that rut or get out of your own way. Maybe it simply entertained you. I'm just an ex-service industry guy who, once I decided I didn't wanna live in that fast-paced life anymore, uh, decided to go my own way, I felt like I was out on an island. Everyone who I'd known for years uh, suddenly wasn't around and it was a whole new feeling. After spending tons of my savings, going into deeper debt, I realized that it was really time for a change and there's something I need to do about it. After being at a mental rock bottom, I decided that I had to pull myself up, do something different, and that's how I got into the world of marketing. Now, I've been almost two years removed from the corporate life and I've never looked back. 
If you want to follow me on my journey or connect later on or in the future, or even if you just want to follow me, you can either find me at my blog at anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Once again, that is anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Or if you're watching this video, you can click, click on the link below. Once again, I'm Anthony Hendrickson, and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, bye-bye.